Since running for president, Steve Bullock has moved far left with the National Democrats. How much is your health care worth to you? It looks like it was worth $700,000 to Steve Daines. In a world where screens surround us, it can be challenging to escape political advertisements, especially in October. As you watch, you may be wondering who's behind these ads and how can we know whether what they're saying is true? Political advertising or any kind of issue advertising where somebody's trying to convince you to feel a certain way about a candidate or an issue, they oftentimes um, are going to stretch and they won't lie, but they will get real close to lying um, about what the candidate or the issue means to the voter to try and either get them fired up about voting for the other candidate or to kind of scare them about what the implications are of, of something happening one way or the other. The real Kathleen Williams, a radical activist and liberal from San Francisco. Some things just don't fit, like my millionaire opponent in Montana. Though it may feel overwhelming, Banville has a few recommendations for making sure that you can sort through the barrage of information. Once you know it's an advertisement, it's, it's paying attention to, in particular, the citations that they're required to put at the bottom of the screen, right? They have to say where I'm coming up with this information. And you can actually go check it, um, or you should be able to go check it. And if you can't, you shouldn't believe anything that came out of that announcer's mouth. Disclaimers are also required for any campaign materials. According to Montana.gov, any communication that advocates the success or defeat of a candidate must identify the person who's paid for the campaign materials. RGA Right Direction Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. That means if you can't fact check what the ads are saying, you can at the very least research the organization who's endorsing the ad. There may be a few exceptions to this rule, but for the most part, you should be able to quickly type in the name of any organization into your search engine to learn more about them. Another tip while you're at home watching TV is to keep your phone close by so that you can snap a quick photo of the screen when these political ads air. Sometimes those citations and disclaimers are only on the screen for a moment, and the font can be small, so taking a photo allows you to take a closer look later on. In Missoula, Lauren Heiser, MTN News.